what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and if you are not already make sure you go follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life and the hair life official so as you guys can see from the title i'm gonna be showing you how i got this banging blonde color with the customized roots this was a wig for my client um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this let me know if you want to see more wigs that i do for my clients and i would definitely get that popping for y'all so we're gonna get right into it okay so the closure is from my hair company it is my 5x5 hd lace and my client provided her own bundle so i'm going to be bleaching the hair with wella bleach and some 40 volume developer you all already know the drill if y'all have watched my color videos before so i'm just applying that bleach all over the bundles and i did let it sit on this side for a minute so it can start to process before i flipped it over y'all know i love good dimension i don't like flat hair color so yeah that is what i did and you guys are going to just see me apply the bleach generously you want to make sure that you get every single strand so you don't have any patches And if you would like to send your bundles in or anything or purchase bundles from me, you guys know you can contact me on Instagram at the Hair Life Official, or you can email me at the Hair Life Official at gmail.com. I'll leave all the information down below. Um, Y'all know I make bomb wigs, I do custom color, all of that, sis. So if you need me to get you together, you know where to find me. So I'm only going to be bleaching one bundle and then the closure that is how my client wanted it as you guys can see in the beginning like the bottom of the wig was still the natural color that is how she wanted it. she just wanted the top blonde so I am bleaching her top bundle and I'm going to be bleaching my HD lace it was an 18 inch HD lace body wave closure do y'all see like do y'all see this closure first of all wet lace honey with lace and do y'all see the quality this is my chinese virgin hair you guys i am so excited to show you guys i've showed you guys my indonesian hair before um but yes this is my chinese virgin hair and i cannot wait to show you guys so be on the lookout for that video but you guys are gonna see how fast it bleaches like the quality is amazing okay so i'm just gonna take my wella bleach with some 40 volume developer and I'm gonna apply that all over my closure. And initially my client did not want roots. Um, but after like I bleached it, like I was, you guys will see like the process I did to bleach the closure because I am gonna put it up on my canvas head just to get in there better. Um, but after doing that, I was just like, you know what? I don't really like, I didn't think that it would look good with no roots, especially since the bottom was that natural color. So, I let her know, like, you know, this is what I feel is best because, you know, we, we want you to slay. So, she agreed. And, yeah, right here you guys will see me, like, doing the process without... I didn't want to get the bleach on the knots because I still did need to bleach the knots. But I did not want to just have bleach just sitting on the knots like that while the hair process. So, with that being said, I did go back and do custom roots. Um, but like I said, initially, if had I known that we were going to do roots, you could just take some bleach with 20 volume developer and sit that on the roots and it wouldn't be as dark. It would give you like lift to a nice brown shade. So that is what I did. I let the hair process for about 45 to 50 minutes. And then my closure I let it process for 30 minutes, y'all, and it got that bright. Like, y'all see that? That was after 30 minutes. I'm telling y'all, my hair is lit. Like I said, if you need to purchase, I got you. You know where to find me. 
Okay, so after the hair process, I did wash it out with the Ion Solution, the Color Solution Shampoo. It's a purple shampoo. I prefer it over Shimmer Lights. That's just my preference. And yeah, y'all can see that good dimension. So I did let it air dry, and we're gonna go over with some Wella Color Charm. This is their like gel color. And I like this a lot better than toner. So I'm using NG, 9NG Sand Blonde and 10GV uh, Honey Blonde. And I did do like half and half of each color. I honestly prefer using a color over toner. I feel like it's more accurate. That's just my opinion. So yeah, if you guys wanna follow this, you know, you can do that. So I'm doing half and half with some, what I use, 30 volume developer? I think I used 30 volume developer. It was like the clear, uh, yeah, clear developer. It's the same thing as cream it's just clear and more liquidy so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over like do y'all see how light that closure is from 30 minutes like i'm t listen i'm sorry that i keep talking about it but it's just it makes me happy like it's bomb so i'm just gonna apply that all over the closure and all over the bundle and i'm gonna let that process i believe i let it sit for about 30 like 35 minutes let it sit and then i did wash it out again and then we are going to go into doing the roots I did go ahead and bleach the knots while the color was processing. So yeah, it was definitely around like 35 minutes that I let it process and you guys are gonna see me rinse that bleach off. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Ion Color Solution Shampoo again and tone the knots. Y'all, I really love this shampoo. I will make sure I link it down below and here it is so you guys um, can see it. If you wanna go purchase it, you know exactly what it looks like. So yeah, I let that sit on the knots for about 15 20 minutes that's about it i don't leave it on there any longer than that and yeah this is what the knots look like like listen i'm telling y'all that looks like scalp tell me that that does not look like scalp i just was not feeling the no root look it just was not hidden for me so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do the roots I did go ahead and like freeze my knots with the got to be free spray. I sprayed it all over the knots very generously and I took my blow dryer and I blew it dry so that the color will not stain the knots. Like that is the worst when you stain the knots after you already bleached it. No ma'am. So I'm going to be taking the Ion Brilliance Dark Intense Blonde 6 in in for the root color and this is honestly like the perfect root color if you do need to go back and do roots instead of you know just leaving the roots as is or anything like that so i did take some bleach and some 30 volume developer because i wanted like that front piece a little bit lighter and yeah you kind of can tell in the video at the end you guys will see you can kind of see it but not really so um yeah i kind of could have skipped out on this step so i did do that and i folded the folded it up in the foil so it could process while i was applying the root color so i'm gonna mix up I did a little bit of mixture in both sides. One side I mixed with 20, the other side I did with 10. Now, I did that to basically even out all of the roots because you guys can see some of the closure has darker roots than others. So on the parts that were dark on the roots, I used the mixture with the 20 volume so it could lift a little bit. And then the parts that didn't have any root color on it at all, I used the mixture with the 10 volume. So that piece in the front, you guys see, like I kind of put it on there and I am gonna blend it in so there's no line of demarcation because that's not cute. So I just went through and parted with my rat tail comb, applied the mixture, whichever mixture was needed for that section, and I did that all over and I let it process for about 20 minutes. That's it. Um, Cause the longer you let it process, the darker it will get and I didn't want it too dark. So I did it for like 20 minutes. This is what the color looks like after processing for about 20 minutes. And yeah, like I said, it came out perfect. 
so this is what the color the roots like you guys i love this color i definitely want to do this again um like all over and i leave like the bottom dark i want to do this blonde all over i think that'd be really really pretty and maybe add some low lights in and i'm just going to show you guys the scalpage okay still scalpiana did not stain the knots so yes if you guys were wondering that is how you do it and look at that lace sis look at that hd lace yes ma'am i listen i love it so this is what it looks like after being air dried I did mold it down with some Nairobi and then boom, I curled it. I didn't want to make this video too long, so I didn't show how I curled it, but I did wand curl it. If you guys want to see, just let me know. I wand curled it and then I took a wide tooth comb and just started to comb the curls out as you guys can see right here. And yeah, I did add a few layers, like a few face firming layers in the front. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I make my wigs, click the eye in the corner. I do have a class, an online class coming up, um, more in depth in detail of how I make my wigs on the sewing machine. So follow me at the Hair Life Official for all the good info. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below how y'all feel about this color and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.